Hi guys, welcome back, I'm Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Divide and Conquer campaign as Dorwidian. And yes, last episode we had one good battle and one bad one. It was a very mixed episode, of course, but those great beasts were just a bit too much for us um, over in Mordor. But now we are defending with Big Norway, the defender, uh, at Austin Airy, ready to defend. It's a pretty brutalized army, this one, but I think... If we can, you know, beat these guys back and then take Varfest and maybe Dorthalu as well, I think we set ourselves in a really good stead um, for, you know, uh, Mordor to stop being so annoying, honestly. That's the main thing. <laughs> and really then bring the attack onto the Black Gate. But obviously this army will need replenishing before then. But I think we try and stretch this army as far as possible. So hopefully we don't lose too many men in this battle, but we Here shall we see. Here we are, guys. And, uh, yeah. We've got a few scary units that we, we need to be worried about. But, uh, yeah, let's get everyone away from the front so we can see what we're doing. Archers-wise, of course, we're going to have no way up here, as usual. We'll also have these guys in here as well. So, actually, if we can, like, kind of do that might be the best option. Are those are the only two archers we have in this army. That's kind of scary. I don't know why we've got so few archers. Then we'll get the Thorn Guard. Uh, so, let's group all the... Oh, we've got the crossbowmen, but, I mean, <laughs> four of them. One of them can't even fire arrows. <laughs> so fire bolts. So, that's kind of pointless. Uh, right, let's group all the cavalry together as well. Um, because, you know, they're going to be very useful. They can all go there. Uh, and then the Avari Naharim. Wait. And then the Avari Naharim here as well. Or maybe the other side if we can. They don't really like fitting in anywhere, the Avari Naharim inside city. So, uh, whatever. They, they can stay here and we'll run them out. See, they don't even like fitting in the town square. Uh, so, yeah. You guys... Some big walls of spears here. Uh, who else have we got? Let's get the thorn guard in there in, in with this shield wall. Actually, no, the shield wall's only kind of against cavalry, really, isn't it? So you guys there as well. Get you guys in here. You boys there. Because it looks like they're just going for the gate, and I'm happy with that. If they just go for the gate, that's fine. But I need to get the Avari Naharim out there ASAP to deal with the trolls. God damn it. Just get in there. <laughs> and then we'll use these boys behind to fire their javis. Uh, and then the Dorwinian infantry as well. Probably on this side if we can. Good. Uh, and then we've got some Swordmasters, haven't we? And I think that's it. We'll leave the Swordmasters here for now as our sort of backup. But let's get you guys. I like the bell going. That's nice. Uh, let's get you guys out. Cavalrymen. You don't need to rush, really. Because I kind of... You know, they're going to take the gate. But I'm not too bothered about that. It's more just killing those trolls. If we can. If you can fire at the trolls. I wonder if you get... If you do have a view of them or not. Actually... Do you know what? You guys, because you're firing over the top, let's fire at the Lope Gamp Rim. They're not actually horrendously hard to uh, to destroy the Lope Gamp Rim in terms of arrows. But let's go try and kill those trolls. Now, where is the Avari Naharim? They're out now. Good. So let's get there and let's see if we can fire at the trolls. How far is our range? It's not hugely far, but it's not terribly little either. But yeah, getting it, getting the trolls a bit bloody, that's what we want to do. The Orc Scouts, they should be firing quite soon. So basically, we just want you to go and, and, and fire at the trolls is the main thing. You should be firing now. So stop. Stop firing at the Scouts. If they start firing at us, we will run. But I think it's more important we get some good shots off at the trolls. 
Try and kill them before they uh, get in the city. Low Gamrim is taking a bit of damage. Not a huge amount. You can see them stumbling every time, but it's more the hit point damage. I think the Sauron's Will... No, the Sauron's Will is not the General. The General is this Black Oryx unit, which I think we can probably take out that General with our cavalry when we want to. Okay, that's the first troll down. I wish the trolls went mad like elephants in Rome Total War. That would be amazing. <laughs> I've forgotten to actually organize you boys. So, uh, Men of the Thorn. Yeah, get in there, Men of the Thorn. Run if you can. I mean, the first Javis get it coming off. Probably let's halt and not fire anymore. Trolls are coming. More are coming. Let's try and uh, get rid of that general then. charge them. Let's stop them from getting in the city, basically. Here come the trolls. Oh, now down to eight already now. Yeah, now less. The battle is very much in our favor. They're kind of just blocking the gate, honestly. Bang. Straight in the side of them. Now out. They're not spearmen, these guys, so we've got to remember that. They're actually not that good. I just really want to stop them because they're the general. Where is the general, though? It's probably one of these. That boy there. Let's go. Attack them again. Okay, the trolls are running a bit rampant. I want you to fire at the trolls. Fire at the trolls, men. I oh, know, stop firing at that there. Let's just fire in there then. Right, now cavalry out again. And the Avari Naharim can hold them for a sec. Come on, boys. They're shaken already as well. So he's bringing Orc Host out to deal with it. Trolls are down to one. That's single troll. I don't like that orc host being there. So let's just ignore him. Why are you doing this? <laughs> You're so annoying, honestly. <sighs> oh, God. AI in this game sometimes, man. Just pisses me off. Come on, boys. Let's go. Yeah, there we are. That's it. That's, that's what we're talking about, boys. Let's get them all as a big block now. And let's see if we can break any of these fools. They're already shaken. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. People wavering already. If we can get a mass rout off, that would be fantastic. Guys, why do you walk? Why do you walk? I'm double clicking! Jesus Christ. Ugh. Well, at least the orc host. They're not spearmen, are they? Well, that's good. Come on, men. You should all be warmed up and fresh. You shouldn't be too worried. If we can break them, that would be good. Um, yeah, I would like you all to charge. Sorry, I didn't get the Avari Naharim to charge then either. That's them broken. Good. There is someone in here broken, but they're fighting to the death, unfortunately. Kill him. Oh. Oh, mass route. Let's go. Let's go. That's it already. Not expecting them to break so quickly. Yes, hear the thunderous hooves. Yes. Wait, 93 already? Surely not. I don't believe that. Oh, maybe because they've run through there and just killed everyone. Oh, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> it is 93. Just this Moran and God, I guess. Well, I think we're good. There we are. Fantastic. 
Ah, if we have any more like that, we can keep the expen uh, expanding this army and keep it going uh, during the, you know, keep it going for a while. But we shall see, guys. I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, and let's execute. Watch them siege it down straight away again. Uh -huh. Oh, here comes Dolgador. That's actually all right, because we've got that militia garrison. I don't think they'll be able to take it. And the AI can't take that into account either, so... They'll probably attack at some point and just realize that they've screwed up. Hopefully they don't. Mordor doesn't attack Enmahath before we get to uh, Varfest. Uh, because Varfest will cut Enmahath off from, <clears throat> from a Mordor border. So they shouldn't want to siege it down anymore. They should want to come back and try and relieve Enmahath. Ah, you really, really want this in Avalon's Rest, don't you? Like, Can we not have it somewhere else that makes more money? Feynoble is, Feynoble is besieged. Wait, aren't we by Feynoble? Or well, we were. No, that's Oibamari. Oh. So I guess... Uh, I guess Mordor was successful with their crusade then. Um, so that's kind of scary. Oh, we've got a guy come of age. Arnken. Arnken! 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 Um, well, Arnken. I think... Oh, we've got someone in Vilta. I think Austin Airy is the one for you, my friend. Yes. Mr. Arnken. Stupid. See Mordor going after Austin Airy still. Um, so if we left those behind... How upset would Austin Airy be? Fine. Yes, my lord. Oops. Okay. That's not ideal, really, is it? Um, we've had some experience with great beasts so far, and none of that experience was ever good. So, I'm not too happy with that. <laughs> Wait, do we have the Avari? Barracks, we do. So why can we not train the uh, the best units? That's weird. Oh, we need the Avari army. Oh, it needs to be a minor city. Oh, god damn. I mean, it's not too far away from becoming a minor city, to be fair. So that's okay. Um, but yeah, building that armory up. These guys don't really want to recruit anyone because these guys need retraining first. Yes, my lord. And we're going... Well, should we just go down this way? I mean... I mean, Tristura is probably not going to be a very hard one to take. Oh, hello, Captain Shadur, or whatever the hell you're called. Let's go fight him first. I mean, he's surely going to go after Rawberg. Karasank got the Master Mason's Guildhouse. Good. So I think probably with that, let's build the ship right. I've got the winery here actually as well, which is a very good building. Let's build that first. Carverad got roads. Oh, good. Fantastic. And I think we build the Mason's Guildhouse. Yep. Yeah. Elanin Chicken Farming. I think we go for the ship right. How much extra cash doesn't say it's going to bring in a lot of cash, but it'll be fine. I think it'll bring in a decent amount of cash. Burralg is under siege, like we've said. What's actually sieging us down? Those boys. Settlement besieged. Um, how expensive is the guild house? Oh, we need to spend like 400 gold. Um, get a cavalry. <laughs> Get a cavalry. Yes, right, well, let's let's do this fight then. Um, <sighs> it's not going to be fun, especially when we don't have any archers. Let's see. I doubt. Yeah, there's no more archers available. No way's a good archer though. So let's see what we can do here. We've also got a lot of javies, which is good against great beasts. These two guys have javies. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do. It's going to be pretty horrible, but I think we'll be okay. 
Here we are, guys. And honestly, a little bit nervous about this one. Oh, that's quite atmospheric. Let's do that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. You know what we can <laughs> what we can really do here. Too much, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Did not realize that this army, it looks so shitty and small on the map, would be this good. So, let's have a look at what we can actually do here. You boys, you just want you to be in a big block so that, you know, you can bog them down, basically. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go. Honestly, the Saurons will. Not a problem. The Great Beasts... Big, 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 big problem. Actually, let's go for the trolls first with the uh, Avari Naharim. And let's... Oh, they are coming after us. That's great. Um, <laughs> that's not good. They think they're harder than us. Well, if you think you're hard enough, mate, come and have a go. Let's get over there so we can actually get to the side. Let's fire at the trolls. I mean, the Great Beasts... Actually, fire the Great Beasts. The trolls the trolls aren't a problem. Infantry-wise. Let's come forward. Uh, you guys get there. In fact, we'll keep you off fire at will for now. If you can fire at the Great Beast, that would be great. But if not, let's fire at the Trolls. Get a few shots in on the Trolls first. Hopefully they don't have to fire too far upwards. No, that's actually quite a good angle. Right then, fire at the Great Beasts. Where's the cav? Cav's over this side. So I want to save my javies for the great beasts, of course. Good luck, bladesman. Good, good luck, bladesman. <laughs> get in there. You guys get in there as well. You guys get them. Don't want you fighting their way. Definitely not. Get away. Get away. Oh, God. Here come the great beasts. Let's get over here. Now. Now we fire the javies. Now we fire the javies. Yeah, fire him. Fire him. Oh, my God. The javies. The javies. Oh, my God. Come on, you elven boys. Yes. Oh, my God. What beasts. That is ridiculous. I have never seen that before. So it turns out we just needed javelins. That's all we needed. <laughs> now you can fire at the Sauron's will. <laughs> Javies! Yes! Okay, well that's interesting. I never expected that to happen. That was obscene. I know they've got a bit of a, you know, bit of a battering. <clears throat> But I did not realize it was that brutal. <laughs> right, elves, come on. And, uh, yeah. You guys get there. So you can fire right in the arse. Now fire your jabbies. The, the brutal. They didn't even use all their jabbies. <laughs> killing all them. Fair play, boys. Do they have a bonus versus great beasts? Bonus fighting cavalry. I mean, great beasts do count as cavalry, I believe. So, but it's not a specific bonus against Great Beasts. But bonus against Cavalry, that must. Effective against Armor as well. So I guess the Great Beasts, you know, a lot of their, uh, a lot of their defense is Armor as well. I think it was, it, it was 20 Armor, wasn't it? So they just bypass that. And the missile attack of 9. I get, wow. That's what we like to see, boys, anyway. I've not even used the cavalry yet. Um, well, I don't think we'll need you, actually. 
have lost half their men. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Fire at them. Cavalry, go after him. Well, we didn't even lose many men in that. 17%, which I'm pretty happy with against great beasts and trolls, to be honest. You guys get out of the way. We don't want you getting hit by random arrows. And now you guys can stop firing. Kill them all! Yes! Well, I'm happy with that. we just got to realize, next time we fight great beasts, we need Javi men. We need the men of the Javis. Men of the Thorn, Javis! Yes! Well, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. And, of course, let's execute. Well, I am exceedingly happy with that. Um, now, can we accept that? Yeah, we got less than 5,100. Good. All right, let's go after Varfest then. I mean, yeah, that road, we do need to upgrade the roads all around here, really. Just so we can move and, and retrain troops so much quicker. Same in Alarnin, but we're get. I mean, could get the roads instead. Yeah, let's get the roads instead. I think it's definitely a better option. Um, you can't even get into San Danui. It's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, next turn we'll move all those guys out how many turns until the blacksmith's done though few you've got an avari naharim up here as well but anyway let's end the turn oh yes see i don't know whether cargo court i'm not sure about you know what's going on with the sort of um mordor settlements and all that sort of thing if they are proper walls because obviously Avalyn's Rest now does have proper walls. It's not just an encampment. Um, so yeah, I'm assuming that's the same thing when we get to Kargakor as well. But Kargakor is, is one place away from Dol uh, from uh, uh, Baradur. So <laughs> yep, yeah, they, they're not happy, are they, Mordor? Um, well, we'll take Cargo Core off you and try and defend it uh, for the rest of our lives, guys. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we don't lose another general, though. Um, but yeah, we might do. <laughs> we might do, we might do, we might do. And another, Hross. Hrossy Hross. You're obsessed with that. Oh, so Fey Noble's the, uh, the Haradrim one. So I wonder who's taken that out then. Yes. So we've got you. Where are you going? You're going to Austin Erie. Yes. You're going to Varfest, of course. Um, I kind of... Yeah, they've come back from Enmahath now. Good. So let's send you actually to Enmahath. Unless, of course, we've not got guys in there. No, we have... Got one there. Yeah, we've got them all around, apart from Naburka, I guess. I mean, Naburka's not that rich, so it's kind of pointless. I think, actually, you should go to Ilanin, because Ilanin can become rich. So, yeah. Bur Emericus got the Herbalist, which is not amazing, but it's not terrible either. Do we go for the Great Hall? No, he's already got free upkeep, hasn't he? Yep. So, let's go for the sheep farming then. And Lest got the ship right. Let's go for those roads. And Wintirian Yard got the herbalists. It's not really anything we want to build there. We do get lore from this though, so let's build that for a bit of lore. Mataram. Uh, Mataram's kind of, kind of out on a limb really. Uh, I want the roads, but that means we can't build anything anywhere else. So let's build the blacksmith. Extra money. Rubar got the apothecary, but it's upgrading. Ah, that's all right then. We'll build the roads in Mataram. Good. Uh, marriage celebrations. End of turn report. What's this? Oh, agent detected of Mordor. Yeah, don't care. You're moving there. Yes. We'll get these boys up to there get everyone in there and then let's get the Mori Quendi Sentinels or oh, we can actually uh, yeah I'd rather I'd rather be able to 
I mean, we could, we'll only have to wait one turn, so let's, yeah. Let's retrain them. And try and recruit them, and then retrain anyone else we can while we're here. Oh, I would rather retrain them rather than, you know, recruit a new one. So let's do that. Hmm. Armorer. Nice. Uh, yeah, we can accept the guild now. I don't know why he's obsessed with Avalyn's Rest for the guild. I think, yeah, I think we're one away from Baradur now, though. Honestly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it. Oh, 300. I mean, it's not terrible, but to be fair, we'd probably lose a lot of men due to the... I, I'm sure they have Ballista Towers now, you know. Well, we got some money from that anyway. Let's repair that. Guard barracks, we don't need. Brawler's pit, we definitely don't need. We definitely do need the slave hall, though. Let's build that. We've got a practice range, which we don't use. A way station will keep that. Carpenter's guild house. Blacksmith as well. Mining network, definitely. And a hunting hut. Well, let's build the tomb. And, uh, yeah, we've got, well, we've got Athel here. Here, We don't want Athel to die. A lot of corruption. 924 gold in corruption. But it's a castle, this. So this will be a good place to recruit. Uh, but we can get an armor here as well. Very nice. I'm surprised no one can get retrained and get more armor. But they actually got decent armor. Probably from Avalon's Rest. Um, how are we looking for troops here? I think we're, you know, we're pretty good. With the Moriquendi Protectors, they will do so much damage. And with the Thorn Guard as well. They will be able to hold off so many troops. So I'm quite happy with that. Um, what else do we have then going on for us? That big army's there. Let's fight them. Okay, so they ha do actually have some good troops in this army. They've got the Camel Shadow Rangers and the Shadow Guard. The Trolls is the General. The General is a Troll. Are you sure about that? These Oryx Slayers are actually decent as well because they're effective against armor but yeah we've got vine lord swain we've got a brand new army so let's see what this new army can do then let's have a go i will see you on the battlefield guys here we are guys and unfortunately it looks like we're fighting kind of quite up a hill so we're going to come on to I mean, we can either go down there or I think we go up here just in case they decide to go down there. We can absolutely rain fire down upon them. Um, I want you guys. Well, let's just let's just do a standard line. It, it makes it easier, doesn't it? There we are. Uh, make sure you guys are all at fire at will. Uh, riders. And then we've got our Avari Naharim as well. So let's go. Uh, where are they? They're down there. Oh, this is quite quite good for us. Get those guys there as quick as possible. Like I say, if they went down the hill, let's rain some fire down upon them. Uh, cavalry, we'll keep you that side. Vine Lord Swain, you just go in the middle somewhere. And the Avari Naharim. Let's come around. Let's see whether we can... You know, I really want to go and kill those trolls. Because that's their general. These guys should have some pretty good range from up here. Soon the trolls, though. Get you all on guard mode. Now you can fire at the trolls, my friend. Good... And the Shadow Rangers as well is a good target, to be fair. But I think the Trolls, because it's got their general. Come on. Your arrow's falling on the Trolls. I think if we... Um 
If we come around... Oh, so I think one of the trolls is not actually a troll. It's just the general that's leading the trolls. <laughs> that's kind of hilarious, honestly. So here they come. Come on, it's just so epic. The elves marching into position. Oh, bollocks. Ah, I'm trying to select them. Let me select them, for God's sake. Who is that? Dolgador host. Not very scary, but at the same time, don't want it. Don't want it to happen just for no reason. Right, we'll get you guys back. Here's the Thorn Guard on that right flank. They are pretty much unbreakable, so I'm not too bothered about that. Poor Dolgador host getting absolutely shredded. Come on, the epic music starting now as well. Let's go. That is no Orc Horn. I don't know what they're doing. Why are they going left? That's so dumb. The cavalry's on the right hand flank as well, and they like to, you know, go against cavalry, so I don't know why they've gone around that way. You guys fight them. Are those Uruk Slayers? Yeah. Chuck your javies, boys. Chuck your javies. Should be absolutely shredding them. Fire it into the trolls now. Should really shred the trolls with these javies after they shredded Great Beast so well. <laughs> There's the Avari Naharim now. Let's get round. That is no Orc Horn. Well, it actually is an Orc Horn. Um, <laughs> where's the, like, Kamal warrior guys? They must be over here somewhere. Kamal Shadow Guard, yeah. Poor Thorngard's going to take a bit of a battering against them, but apart from that, we're looking pretty peachy right now. Men of the Thorn. Uh, but yeah, where did the trolls end up? Are the trolls dead? Let's go. Come on. Let's get the Avari Naharim down there. And yeah, the cavalry... I don't know what just happened then. Ah, oh, come on. All the cavalry back here. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, it looks like the elves are slicing through them. Come on, elves. Let's go. Yes, there's a general. Dead. So that should really mean a lot of them want to break. Oh, look. The elves are just... Triumphant. Come on, elves. Let's go. Let's kill those camel shadow rangers. You guys should actually get after them. Then you guys should get after them. Or maybe them. And where's the cavalry? They've literally just got these two units. I mean, the, the shadow guard won't want to rout, really. Oh my god, the mass route! Camel Shadow Guard are still wa are just wavering still. Oh, this new army is something else, boys. It's something else. It is fantastic. Absolutely shredding the boys. Or should I say the orcs? You guys actually get out of the way. I'm going to send you two to charge. And I'm going to send you two. One of you to chase after them. One of you to chase after them. How are these guys getting on? Yes. Well, let's kill them all then. How many have we killed so far? 88. I think that'll be enough. But let's just check, you know. It's always good to check. 
Okay, that was good. That was really good. Stuck between a rock and a hard place, my friends. Well, I think just just speed it up and we'll be fine. Yeah, 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 that's good. Well, glorious. Oh, my days. Brutal. <clears throat> Absolutely brutal. 200 for the Avari Warriors. I mean, honestly, these guys did way better than I was expecting. One Thorn Guard's taken a bit of a battering. But well, that was up against the Camel Shadow Guard, so fair play. I will see you back on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. And let's execute once again. Oh, that new army is just so powerful. Jesus Christ. The power we are wielding right now. It is glorious. It is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, very happy with that. That was nice. Uh, but I think that's what we'll do. We will end the episode here, guys. So thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.